All right, this is a short video on the Deer PDF flipbook reader. So basically, this is going to cover how to upload the PDF, get it under the system, grab the code that you want, and put it into your page so that when somebody clicks on a PDF, they can read it directly on your website without having to leave. There's also a couple of tools where they can download it if they need to, but those are all options for you to choose at your will. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is upload the PDF to the media library. So we're going to come over here from the dashboard. We're going to click on media and then we're going to upload our PDF. We're just going to drag it from our desktop and we're going to drop it right onto the tiles here and it's going to upload the file. So now we're going to come back over here to Dear PDF and we're going to take a look at what's going on here. So there's no PDFs in the system yet. The first thing we want to do is click on add post. So we'll click here. Next thing we want to do is give this a title and then we want to select the PDF that we want to use by clicking on select PDF. We're going to go ahead and click on the one that we want. We're going to hit send it to dear PDF. Now at this particular point, it's going to create a thumbnail that's going to be auto generated from the PDF. If you want to upload your own specific thumbnail, you can do so right here. Now everything else has pretty much been set up for you. There are some other tabs in here. We're not going to go through these at this time, but if you want to change some of these settings, you can. But we do have global settings set so that everything kind of stays consistent. So I really wouldn't worry too much about what's going on here. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and publish it. Now, once the PDF is published, the short code box here up at the top is going to be filled out. Now, this is just going to create a generic link. But what we want is we want the ability to display the PDF in a thumbnail format like this that somebody can click on and read it from the screen. So we're going to click over to the light box options and we're going to select the short code for thumbnail. So we'll grab that. Then we'll head over to our pages. We're going to click on PDF test. And all we need to do is drop that short code in here somewhere. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the title. I'm going to grab the text. We're going to go ahead, create a new row, remove that one, remove that one, create two columns. We'll drag this over here and we'll add a code block right here. And we'll just paste in the code. We'll go ahead and hit save and update. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the page. Now, as you can see, we've got a photo of the thumbnail. When we mouse over it, you have some animation with the title down here. When you click on it, you can see that there is the PDF that's in here. We can click to the second page. We can click back to the first page. You can have as many pages in here as you like. Um, I'm sure there is a limit, but I have a document that has over 700 pages and it seems to handle it just fine. It does take a little bit of time for something that big to load initially. So you kind of want to be aware of that. It's good to, to compress your PDFs but it, it will handle quite a few pages. Now, if you look down here, you've got some tools. They can go ahead and click on the zoom key and zoom in, zoom back out. They can fill the whole monitor. They can click on the three dots. They can download it and you can set whether or not that they're able to do that. Go to first page, turn off sounds and stuff like that. So that's pretty much all there is to the actual thumbnail version of PDF Reader. We're now going to go back and show you how to add a button. So down here, maybe you want just a little button. So we'll add a button down there. First thing you want to do is go back to your PDF reader settings. So we'll come over back to the list and we're going to click on train tours. And then we're going to go back to the light box tab of the short code and we are going to select button short code instead of the thumbnail. So we'll come back over to our page. We'll come over here. We'll create another code block for this example. We'll drop it in. There's our code. This is the button type right here. So we'll go ahead and hit checkbox and we're going to hit update back to the front page and we'll hit reload. And as you will see here shortly, you now have a button down here at the bottom that when clicked on, will also open the PDF reader and it has all the functionality this has before. So that is all there is to it for this video. Hope you guys have a good day.